how to lift heavy if you don't want to bulk up. Low weight, high reps. Short answer, no. Long answer, fuck no. A lot of trainers like to say you have nothing to worry about. Bulking doesn't happen by accident. Because it doesn't, usually. Or they just don't understand how somebody might not want to build as much muscle as they can. I used to think that too. Until around 12 years ago when I got bigger than I wanted to, accidentally. Lifting 12 hours a week, eating 4,500 calories a day, and spending all my Hollister checks on creatine. You know, accidentally. Then drop down to the size I want to be. I've stayed there for about a decade without having to use baby weight. To know how to not bulk, you kind of have to know how to bulk. It isn't really the rep count or the weight. More about how close I am to failure on each set. Combined with the total volume of hard sets per week. And eating enough. There are legit endless ways to lift and avoid at least one of these three, but here's what I do. And if learning how to lift from a trainer who doesn't just want to get yoked interests you, you should follow me. I do full body lifts only, meaning I try to hit every muscle in one day. I do cardio days in between lift days. And aside from my big main lifts that need a lot of sets to warm up, I do as little as just one set on a lot of exercises. When someone wants to work in with me on a piece of equipment, I get to look like the nice guy and say, yeah, of course, I'm on my last set anyway. And I stick in the one to five rep range for most of my lifts. With high weight, because it's way more fun to be strong, than do 30 reps of an exercise I never do outside of the gym. The combo of doing full body lifts, limiting my sets and the super low rep range inherently limits my overall volume of hard sets per week. So I don't even really have to worry about proximity to failure and how high the weight is.